Okay, here we are with Excel. We are going to determine the line of best fit using linear regression, uh, obviously using Excel. So you're going to notice in columns A and B, I have lists of some data. And I know it's a little small, but I want you to be able to see it all. Um, and that we're talking about, if we look at the homework grades of students in column A and compare those to their final exam grade in column B, is there a correlation? What does this look like? What would be the line of best fit? We could use that to do predictions and all, some other, all kinds of fun math stuff. So um, with this data, if I highlight it, and then I'm going to go up to insert, and I'm going to insert a scatter plot. All right. So you see here that it has graphed. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, so you can see that on our horizontal axis would be column A. That's Those are the homework scores. And then the vertical axis is going to be our final exam. Okay, so we have our scatter plots, right? Our dots. And hopefully there's 30 of them there. They look all kind of bunched together. If I, uh, that is not 30 dots. But there might be some duplicates, and that's fine. Okay, so to, in order to find the line of best fit, I'm going to simply double click. Click on these dots, all right? So when I click, what is happening? When I click on these dots here, and then I'm going to right click, you can see that uh, it says add trend line. So when I add the trend line, and now you see populating on the right is format trend line in all of my options. Now it defaults to linear, which is great, but you can see all of the other options that you have depending on the type of regression you're looking to do. Okay, but I want linear. Um, you also see when I go to the bottom here, it says display equation on the chart. Now that's pretty small. Can I make it bigger? Doesn't look, does not appear that I can make that bigger. Um, but here's the thing. So you have the, the line of best fit up here. So y equals 0.7043x plus 31.92. So that's in slope intercept form. And that is the line of best fit. So we can use that equation to make predictions. If somebody says, hey, I have a, an 80 on my homework, what would, I, what would you predict that to be in my, my final exam? And we could say, well, if you have an 80, so point, uh, 0.7043 times an 80, plus 31.92, we would expect you to receive an 88 or earn an 88.264 on the final exam. So we can use that line of best fit from the information we've given to make predictions about, you know, student scores. And you can see an 80 on the horizontal axis. If we go up, it's right, uh, you know, it's not quite halfway up. So halfway between uh, and these two, well, I can't highlight these. Um, ooh, but I think, oh yeah, hold up. So halfway between this, right, this this here starts at 80 and goes up to 100. And you can see that the line there in the middle, which so here is, is our on our line, it's not quite halfway up. And halfway would be 90, so that makes perfect sense. So anyway, again, how to do that? We insert a scatter plot. We click on... Let me get out of my, uh, we click on the a dot, right click on that where it says add trend line, and then we can uh, make all kinds of changes from there, including adding the equation of the line of best fit on our graph so we can use that for future information. I hope that helps.